stabbed and left for dead. The unsolved murder of a local woman has her family coming forward two years later asking for help. On your side, investigator Anna Canzano's in the newsroom tonight. So, Anna, you've discovered some disturbing court documents. Yeah, Deb, namely this restraining order that this woman filed against her ex boyfriend less than two weeks before she was found stabbed to death. In this, she indicates that he had access to weapons, a knife, and that he had put his hand over her nose and mouth to the point that she couldn't breathe. Life goes on at this apartment complex on North Fessenden. People move in, they move out. But Cindy Katarina can't forget what happened in unit number five, just down the way to this woman, Janine Toth, the night the crime scene tape went up. Yeah, she was a nice lady. Yeah. She just had a lot of problems. She did talk to me every time. She was friendly, nice. But she, she just had, I don't know. I call them demons, I guess. Their problems, Toth's family acknowledges, financial struggles and mental health issues. Still, they say Jeannie was a smart, loving and caring person, a former registered nurse who deserves justice. Whoever stabbed her to death remains free. It's tough. I struggle with it. Um, you know, I, I know that there is a person out there that is responsible. It's kind of the last thing we can do for Jeannie at this point. We can't do anything for her except make sure this murder is put behind bars. We just want closure on this. And somebody's walking the streets out there that is enjoying the weather that shouldn't be out there yeah. and could hurt somebody else. Her sister Kathy alludes to the circumstances around the murder and the apartment where she lived. I think there was times when she felt not particularly safe. Neighbor Cindy Katarina goes a step further. She had a boyfriend that came around a lot, and um, I wasn't too crazy about him. He, he was one that made me nervous, but I don't really want to say no more. We are not naming that ex-boyfriend since he hasn't been named a suspect or even a person of interest. Police do confirm that along with being stabbed, Janine Toth had been sexually assaulted. There is a $1,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. The number to call is 503-823-HELP. Reporting live in the newsroom, Anna Canzano, K2 News.